Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very, very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. Right now where I am, it is Friday night, somewhat late in the night here, uh, July 1st, 2022, Friday night here in Tokyo. Several hours ago, I had uploaded a video discussion on this channel wherein I was speaking about what I understood to be the July 2022 Barnes & Noble Criterion Collection Sale, which is, I understand it, now taking place during this month of July in the uh, United States uh, bookstore Barnes & Noble with regard to Criterion titles, 50% off, which is a, a quite a significant amount of sale savings. So uh, this is also a sale that happens uh, with a degree of frequency. And so this year is, we see no exception to that. And that is wonderful news indeed for anyone who is a Criterion Collection fan, as well as anyone who is able to, as I say, participate in the Barnes & Noble sale. And for those who are able to, I really, really hope that you enjoy it, my dear friends. Truly, truly, I do. And also one of the things I mentioned in that video was for anyone who wanted to, please share with me, share with us in the comment section of that video the titles that you plan to get or that you order or that you maybe for in some instances already got so i was uh, so uh, i was so interested uh, and i am very interested to hear from you my dear friends as i say i'm not able to participate directly in the sales so i live vicariously through your excitement and experiences and i do that uh, in the context of YouTube, primarily through reading your comments about what you plan to get and, and other uh, thoughts and comments that you may have about this or any other related topics. And so to my great delight and uh, wonderful surprise, and uh, I was, uh, I'm now looking at the YouTube channel and that video, and lo and behold, I see a, a number of comments already posted here by you, my dear friends. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much indeed. That really is uh, so lovely. Uh, I, I'm i very, very moved by this. And so if it's okay with you, I, I haven't done this in a while, but uh, if it's okay, let me now take this opportunity in this video form to just address uh, a number of these comments. I'll try to uh, mention them and I'll try to just uh, on uh, uh, in this video format, uh, in spoken word form as it were. I'll try to respond to them uh, to the best of my ability. So uh, if it's okay with you, let us now just uh, look at the comments together. So the first one here is by Isaac Martinez. And Isaac Martinez, you say, I've, I've been waiting a long time for this. I need to write a list of movies I would like to buy. Any suggestions? And below we have... Eve, who has very kindly responded to Isaac, and Eve says, Wait a few days for Okja to release. It is a film by Bong Joon-ho, Parasite Mer Memories of Murder. It is about a giant fantasy creature and climate animal rights. It is very different from his other films, but proves his versatility. So thank you very much, Isaac, and thank you very much, Eve, for this uh, this comment discussion uh, about recommendations and like is Bong Joon Ho is we see getting a lot of great, uh, great uh, coverage in the Criterion Collection and indeed that coverage will be expanded as Eve reminds us so very kindly here in terms of the upcoming planned release of this uh, this other film. So I'm too looking forward to that uh, with great anticipation. Truly, truly, I am. Uh, and as well, you mentioned to other Bong Joon-ho films which have already been released in the Criterion Collection physical media catalog uh, to uh, much well-deserved fanfare, I must say, and watch much and well-deserved attention. Um, they are really great releases, those being Parasite and Memories of Murder. Wow, wow, what great releases. Uh, and I had the great opportunity to speak about uh, my impressions and comments about each of those releases when they occurred, uh, respectively. Uh, but there have been so many other uh, great releases. I think maybe one that comes to mind most recently is the recent release of Double Indemnity, which is a a real uh, it's it's a real magnificent release, uh, as well as say other examples. I, I must say, 
I can mention too, for instance, Love Affair, which happened earlier in the year. That was a really great one. Um, I'm looking here on the shelf here, which is off camera. Uh, maybe there have been other great, I guess so many, so many, to The Girl Can't Help It, which is another recent release, which was really great. Um, Adoption too, that was also a very powerful one, as well as, my goodness, so many. Um, Mr. Clench, Hannah's Missing. Uh, around midnight, uh, and then maybe going or into last year, we have other great titles. Oh gosh, I could go on and on. It's this, this is really wonderful. Um, uh, the Criterion Collection is so wonderful in terms of the wealth of, of titles and and availability. So, uh, Once Upon a Time in China set, from, um, a Melvin Van Peebles set, etc. My goodness, Nightmare Alley. My goodness, uh, yes. <laughs> so I, I don't know. It's, it's hard to. I'm gonna have to stop myself here because I, I could just go on and on. I suppose, uh, but maybe another thing too is, would be, uh, th there have been a number of discussions that I've tried to make on this channel here. So if you are interested, I have tried to provide a number of those videos in playlist form. Uh, so uh, and they are available on that on the video. Uh, that I made earlier. So if you are interested, Isaac, uh, maybe you can go there. Or, of course, uh, uh, you don't have to take my word for it. Of course, there are other great resources online, elsewhere, uh, uh, community sites, fan sites, etc., who, who, who have so many people who are well-versed, much more expert in the area of Criterion than, than I. So, uh, so there are so many uh, great areas to go. Uh, and also, again, it's just, uh, it's, it's again one of the great hallmarks of the Criterion Collection, is it not? That there's so many, uh, so many possibilities out there. So in any event, Isaac, I really hope that you uh, find the titles that you are looking for, that you're seeking, and uh, any titles that really uh, help to further your own cinema journey. And I have no doubt that uh, uh, any choice that you make along the way uh, will certainly do that, my dear friend. So thank you very much, Isaac, for the comment. And also thank you very much, Eve. And speaking of Eve's comment, I know that, Eve, you left another great comment here asking about my glasses. And you say, hi, Daisuke, where are your glasses from? I've always envied them. They give me a perfect 60s, 70s vibe. So thank you very much, Eve, for that. And I see below your comment, a number of people have also responded. For example, Dan says, the famous Romero glasses. Scribble Wizard says, Kazal makes a version of those frames if they aren't Kazal in the first place. And then Clark, Clark Tettles, you say, there is a post on his Instagram where he says which frames they are. If I can remember correctly, they are from the Holland Company. Uh, he mentions the number code of the frames in the post. Yes, thank you very much, Clark. You are absolutely right. I have mentioned these. I have an Instagram account, in case anyone's interested. It's called Daisuke Beppu 4. Uh, so um, uh, in case you're interested, you can also find me there. You can also, I'm, I'm uh, very happy to accept direct messages and the like, so you can always do that. If I, uh, please, I apologize if I don't respond immediately, but I always try to respond to everything that I do receive. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I do have mentioned on my Instagram account that the name of the glasses brand, which is Preciosa, P R E C I O S A. Let me show a card here, which is a the card that came with the glasses or one of the pairs of glasses. Because I have a number of pairs of glasses uh, which are the same model, but slightly different, say, variations. Uh, this type is called Model 940. 940, the large type, 940. Um, and uh, here's another uh, uh, frames that I have, which are the sunglasses type. The, the, the material is slightly different, but the size and the dimensions are the same. So it's uh, Preciosa. I'm a very, I love this particular brand um, uh, and the like. You know, I don't have any, I don't have any, what is it? What is it? Uh, uh, they are not a sponsor or anything like that. That you know, they don't. Uh, uh, I'm not uh, 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 paid in any way to promote them in any way. I'm just a hundred percent fan of uh, their their glasses, in particular these glasses, and uh, they are. Uh, they if you uh, go, you can go to my Instagram account. I do have information. Uh, somewhere about uh, you, you can actually they have their own Instagram account as well 
and so you can reach out to them directly if you're interested in finding these glasses. I don't know if they sell these directly, uh, but they can definitely give you information about any local distributor or retailers in your vicinity that might be able to sell them to you. So, and for instance, I haven't, I don't purchase these directly from them. There are official distributors, uh, say in Japan and elsewhere nearby, that I purchase these from. So, uh, so that's uh, that's the uh, yeah Preciosa, P R E C I O S A. So, uh, I do like these. As, and as Dan mentions, I have a, I, I love these glasses for a number of reasons. Uh, they are. Uh, I'm a big fan of the filmmaker George Romero, and so they these glasses remind me of the types of glasses that he wore. I'm a big fan. Also, uh, there is a, a, a film by Martin Scorsese, directed by Scorsese, which is called Casino, and there is a character there. The character's name is Ace, Ace Rothstein, excuse me, Ace Rothstein, and he's portrayed by Robert De Niro, and there are these glasses, yes, uh, uh, used in uh, uh, that the character wears it there as well. So I wish I could be as cool as uh, Robert De Niro or George Romero. I am in no way, I am, I am no way anywhere near uh, that league. I am totally, totally on the lower, 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 lower end of the the coolness spectrum. I get it, but. Uh, be that as it may, I, I still have a, a great fondness for these glasses, and so uh, it is, uh, it's something that I, I enjoy wearing. So, uh, But Eve, thank you so much, very, very, very much for this comment, and also for replying to the, the other comment from Isaac. I appreciate it very much, my dear friends. My dear friends, thank you. And also thank you very much to all who, who reply to uh, Eve's great comment here. Next, we have R. Rowdy. So, hello, R. Rowdy. And you say, wow, uploaded a minute ago. I was literally just wondering since June was about to end for me when the Barnes & Noble Criterion sale was going to start and decided to check your channel. Love it. Thank you and hope you're having an excellent summer. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, that's very, uh, uh, very uh, a great coincidence uh, timing. So uh, I hope that uh, if you are able to participate in the sale, I do hope that you enjoy, my dear friend. And thank you very much. Yes, it's a very hot summer here right now. Very, very hot here in Tokyo. So uh, it's uh, uh, somewhat uncomfortable in terms of the heat. I'm not good when it comes to this sort of sweltering, sweltering heat, as it were. But uh, I spend uh, most of the time now uh, in... Uh, in uh, uh, air-conditioned uh, uh, rooms indoors for the most part but uh, uh, and also in terms of the summer yes uh, my family will be moving to a different place very very soon so we're in a little bit of a a sort of exciting hectic yet uh, adventurous mood I should say so uh, and then of course now uh, I am too that mood is is now being elevated uh, exponentially because of this news of the Criterion Collection sale from Barnes & Noble. So anyway, my dear friend, thank you so much for the great comment, and I hope you're well. Next we have Jared, our dear friend Jared Wignall, and you say, I'm going to get Raging Bull in 4K for sure. Not sure what else I'll get, but I'll, I know Raging Bull is a must for me. I hope Taxi Driver will return to Criterion and 4K Blu-ray soon as well. Thank you for the video, Daisuke. Have a great day. Yes, Jared, thank you so much as always, as always. And yes, Raging Bull, you mentioned this. This is a, a very soon-to-be uh, upcoming, it's it's going to be very soon, in fact, uh, released by Criterion. I, too, am looking forward to it immensely. I know it's going to be... It's going to be a big one. So uh, well done for mentioning it here, Jared. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, have a great, great rest of your day and weekend. I uh, hope you're well. Henry Cooper, you're next. You say, uh, Henry Cooper, as a Criterion fan living in Australia, I look on with a great deal of envy, but do enjoy. As Daisuke said, if anyone knows of any other place where us international fans can enjoy similar sales or bargains, please let us know. I can't wait to see what releases pe people pick up over this month. Yes, Henry, thank you very much for expressing that sentiment. Uh, I share in uh, your feelings uh, as you express them here, uh, very much so. And yes, yes, indeed, as Henry 
does ask if anyone does have any information about any other sales that might be occurring elsewhere in the world, for example, Henry says he is in Australia, uh, or anyone else who might be living in other parts of the world. If you have information about sales uh, outside of Barnes & Noble, please, if it's okay, uh, please share it, with, uh, share it with me, share it with us you know, here or any other place that is accessible or that is convenient to you. And I think that information will be very, very useful, very helpful or for people like Henry and me and others uh, who might not necessarily be able to directly participate in this Barnes & Noble sale, but maybe others uh, should they arise. So thank you very much, Henry, for that. And my dear friend, I hope you are well. Uh, next, we have Donnie. Yes, Donnie, our dear friend Donnie, I hope you're well. And you say, I'm planning to obtain either bringing a baby or the girl can't help it when I visit Barnes & Noble again. Oh, well done. Yes, uh, this is really great as well, Donnie. So bringing a baby or the girl can't help it. So uh, let me know uh, which one you end up choosing. I would be very curious to hear that. Also, uh, uh, your choice. I would be very curious to hear your, your uh, feelings about the release and about the film uh, when you are able to explore that particular criterion title. So, uh, Donnie, I'm looking forward to uh, any further update that you may have. Uh, very much so. So, uh, thank you very much and uh, warmest, warmest regards to you as always. I, I look forward to hearing from you. Next, we have Eric, our dear friend Eric Pieper. So, hello, Eric. You say, I'm going to upgrade a few of my DVDs to Blu-ray during this sale, but I can't go nuts. I may be moving soon. Oh, okay. Okay, so yes, uh, you say you may be moving. So, uh, again, uh, no, no need to do anything. Uh, that might, uh, because as you say, you, it might get uh, somewhat busy uh, for you with other matters. So of course, you, know, you have to take care of those matters uh, uh, you know, that uh, do come up. So uh, taking care of those. But once you have taken care of those, and if you're still able to, yes, uh, I'd love to hear your uh, Criterion Collection news. Um, and also your moving news as well, if that's okay as well. I'm, I'm also moving as well, so uh, that is something that, uh, uh, another thing that maybe we have in common. So Eric, my dear friend, thank you so much. And of course, of course, above all else, I hope you are well. Warmest, warmest regards, and to talk to you soon, I hope. Next, we have Leon Kane. So hello, Leon Kane. And you say, living in Mexico... I once tried the Barnes & Noble online sale and unfortunately had a bad experience. Three Criterion titles, if I recall correctly, it was A Hard Day's Night, Scanners, and All That Heaven Allows, never appeared and had such a poor back and forth with Barnes & Noble and the shipping company that never tried it again. But this time I might have. I've been waiting so long for a restoration of Pink Flamingos, and Raging Bull seems like a no-brainer. So thank you very much, Leon, for this. This is, yes, I I can definitely say, too, that, um, you know, a few years back when Barnes & Noble did still ship internationally during its sale, I can say, too, that I, I maybe didn't have the smoothest shipping experience, not with everything, but with one or two orders here and there. So I, I can definitely... Uh, relate to what it is you're saying to a certain degree. Although I must say that from my experience, Barnes & Noble was were very quick to provide a replacement or refund, of, uh, whatever the case may have been. So I was very fortunate in that way so that uh, they were able to give me a, a reasonable alternative to a, a situation that I think was uh, was something that they couldn't uh, remedy immediately. So I was overall very impressed with the Barnes & Noble uh, customer uh, customer support. But uh, yes, I do understand uh, what it is you're saying in terms of, of uh, things that can happen in international shipping, of course. Uh, so, But at the same time, you mentioned Raging Bull and you mentioned Pink Flamingos. So uh, yes, I have ordered Pink Flamingos, but uh, the order has not yet arrived at my doorstep here in Tokyo yet. I'm looking forward to it very much. The, yes, so Pink Flamingos. I haven't received my copy yet, which I, I ordered it uh, online, uh, pre-order, but it hasn't yet arrived. So, I'm, But I'm looking forward to that immensely, immensely, immensely. That is, uh, wow, what a film. What a film that is. So, uh, Leon Kane, thank you so much for your comment, and I very much hope that you are well uh, and cheers. 
Next, we have Gray, 1951 Media Channel. My dear friend, our dear friend, it's nice to see you. And you say, hi, Daisuke. I just spent way too much money in the Kino Lorber Spring Sale, so I may skip the Criterion Sale this month. The only item I may pick up is the Fellini box set, but we'll have to see how the finances are. I intend to curtail my spending this year, but Kino came along and grabbed a hold of my credit card. It's their fault. Take care, my friend. So totally understand, yes, many great labels uh, out there and their sales are, I understand, uh, too good to be missed. Totally, totally get it, my dear friend. Although, as you say, you are considering the possibility of that great Fellini box set from Criterion. Uh, yes, that is a good one. That is a really good one. Um, it has uh, the benefit of including a number of titles. Um, it would be nice maybe one day to see more of those titles maybe given their own individual releases soon. I'm not sure of the possibility of that. We have seen and some of them happen, but uh, like La Strada, or, but uh, we shall see. We shall see. But in any event, uh, that set itself is is absolutely magnificent. So if you do end up getting that, my dear friend, please let us know. And I, I look, to, look forward to hearing what it is you have to say about it. I hope all is well. In the warmest, warmest regards. Next, we have Randy White, and you have a great comment here. You say, yay. Yes, uh, I share in your enthusiasm 100%. So thank you very much, Randy White. I hope you're well. And next, we have Art Irony. So hello, our dear friend Art Irony. And you say, I've been waiting for the sale. Ha ha. I'm glad I have a Barnes & Noble gift card saved for this occasion because it'll help even further offset the savings from the sale. Yes, yes. Here's what I'm thinking of picking up. America Lost and Found, the BBS story. I found that New Hollywood is one of my favorite periods of cinema and this collects a lot of essential viewing since BBS produced many classics. Next, Blowout. I watched this in a film class I took and enjoyed it immensely due to it being a tribute to the style of Alfred Hitchcock. Next, The Night of the Hunter, essential film noir classic I haven't seen yet. The Funeral. I watched Tom Popo, and it made me want to seek out Juzo Itami's other works. Daisuke, your video on The Funeral also solidified me wanting to get this LOL. Do the Right Thing. Spike Lee is a really important director I've unfortunately overlooked so far in my journey with cinema, and so I'm picking up probably his best-known film to get acquainted with him. Edit. I went to place my order, and this was already out of stock. Next, you say, Ali Fear Eats the Soul. Watched this in a world cinema class and really enjoyed it. It was my first introduction to the works of Fassbinder, and eventually I'll check out some of his other works. Next, Chan is Missing. Just reading the premise of this when it was announced instantly got me interested in it. This is another one that Daisuke's review for it solidified it as a pick for this sale. Thank you very much. Next, The Last Temptation of Christ. I'm a big fan of Scorsese's work, and I think his meditations on religion and his feelings toward it are some of the most interesting parts of his work. I know this was also a really major passion project for him that took several years to finally get made. Next, Melvin Van Peebles' Essential Films. I'd heard of Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song many years ago. Never saw it. I know it's a foundational work in the black exploitation genre. The premises of Watermelon Man and Don't Play as Cheap also interested me a lot. All That Jazz. I enjoyed Cabaret's really atypical take on the musical, and this film I've heard experiments with that style even more with it being a look into the life of someone making a musical. And Dreams. I'm a big fan of Kurosawa's work, and this is one I haven't seen yet. Wow, art irony. Wow, wow, wow. So many things here. Well done. What a great list and uh, follow-ups in terms of the the reasoning behind your choices. So well done. Well done indeed. So, so many here. Um, you mentioned too that you tried to get do the right thing, but uh, you tried to place your order, but it was already out of stock. I hope that you are able to get that uh, that great criterion release. It is really a uh, uh, it's 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 uh, a powerful, phenomenal work in a number of ways. Very overwhelming, and the Criterion release I think is is outstanding. So I really hope that you're able to find a copy of that. 
uh, before the sale is out. Uh, so I, I will keep my, I will keep, uh, uh, I will hope that, that that occurs for you, my dear friend, as well as these other great, great titles. So well done, Art Irony. It's wonderful. Thank you so much for this. And I hope you're well, my friend. And next we have a comment from Jonathan. So hello, Jonathan. And you say, I want to deeply thank you for your incredible videos. I'm going through a tough time right now and the atmosphere and communal feel you bring to your videos allows me to find some much needed positive escapism in them. Jonathan, my dear friend, our dear friend, I must say you are incredibly kind, very gracious. And again, I don't know what it is that is happening at the moment. I'm not sure of the circumstances of the situation. But whatever the case is, Jonathan, whatever the case is at all, you are always welcome here. You can stop by this channel. You can uh, leave a comment or not leave a comment, whatever the case is for you, whatever you feel comfortable with. And if you do leave behind a comment, uh, please know that I will definitely uh, read it. I look at all the, the comments. I read all the comments. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes YouTube automatically deletes comments uh, beyond my control. I always try to have that prevented where possible, but sometimes it, I, I can't. Uh, uh, sometimes it, they do it automatically without me knowing it. But uh, those uh, those exceptions aside, of course, I read all the comments. And so if ever you want to stop by Jonathan, anytime, any, any, any time at all. And if you want to talk about movies, uh, if you have any recommendations, if you've seen something that you want to talk about, that you want to recommend to me or anyone else here, you are welcome here any, any, any time. Truly, truly, you're welcome here any time. So your, uh, your enthusiasm and your, uh, your uh, love of cinema and your expressing of that is very important and uh, uh, if ever there's the uh, if ever I am fortunate enough to uh, hear from you and to uh, listen to you and to hear your comments and to learn from you if I'm ever uh, given that opportunity in the future to hear from you and to learn from you Jonathan my dear friend I will treasure that very much very much because it is very important so uh, Jonathan, I hope this message finds you well, or if not, then I hope it finds you as well as can be. And uh, whatever the case may be, my dear friend, uh, please, please uh, do your best uh, to try to uh, be uh, happy and healthy and well. This is the most important treasure. I mention that uh, a lot, but I mentioned a lot because it is really, I really mean it. It is very important. You know, this is uh, the most important treasure. So please, I hope that all is well or as well as can be. And uh, right, when you have taken care of that or when you have taken care of that to the best of your ability, then I hope that you are able to watch uh, as many films as possible, many great, great, great movies. And then once again, uh, I would be so honored no pressure, of course, my dear friend, no pressure at all, but I would be so honored uh, anytime, anytime at all. Um, if you ever want to talk about movies, if you ever want to give me a recommendation, I am always happy to listen to you, my dear friend. So Jonathan, uh, thank you so much and warmest, warmest regards. I hope to hear from you soon. So let me now stop here, but maybe I will try to move forward with other videos where I try to address uh, as many comments as possible. If I miss your comment uh, for, uh, right, I really apologize, I don't mean to, uh, but I will try to, uh, to address, as I say, as many as possible. Uh, you can always repost or you can always try to reach me under this video or as I say I have Instagram you can always try to reach me at Instagram whatever I will always try to to uh, to catch up with uh, with every, anything that you have to say but in the meantime let me stop here and maybe I'll try to pick this up uh, at uh, a later moment in time uh, in the not so distant future and so I'll pick it up at the next comment, at the next uh, video of this type on this channel. So uh, in the meantime, my dear friends, thank you so much. And once again, uh, 
cheers yes cheers 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 to you all my dear friends thank you be well